Hey, this is a tutorial for the application Team Basketball Stats. It's an Android application. Um, there's a free version of it titled Individual Basketball Stats, which is, runs identically except you can track one player instead of a full team. And to begin, I've already preloaded this um, the emulator with a few players and games, so I'll show you. Select Edit Roster. And now you have your, your players here. This is the Phoenix Suns. Um, but you'll notice Goran Dragic, he was traded, so let's delete him, right? So we go in, you can click him, there's stuff. And if you want to edit him, you can make some changes and click it, and then hold to confirm. And if you'd rather just delete him, which we're going to do, you click delete, hold to delete, and you hold him down. Alright, Goran Dragic is gone now. Um, so he was traded for Aaron Brooks. Let's add a player. So. Aaron Brooks, which is number zero, I believe. And this is the back button on your phone. Save the player, it'll pop up down here. And you hold it, and changes are confirmed. So now if you scroll down here, you can see Aaron Brooks at the bottom of your lineup. Um, that's You can do that for all of the players here. You can edit them, and delete them, or you can delete all. Uh, okay, so after you've created your lineup, you set your lineup here so these are the players in your entire lineup these are the players in the game so let's say Steve Nash, Dudley Gortat, Grant Hill and Channing Fry the starting five, you want to add another player it will give you a warning message you can't add more starters, remove the player before adding you can only have five players in your lineup so select done now go to new game I preloaded the Lakers game with some stats so I can show you the, how it totals it up later. Now if you add game, enter opponent, go heat, I'm just going to pick a random date, 8 slash 9, sorry, 8 slash 9, 2011, okay. And this will be an away game, save game data and it will pop up here, and you hold it and... Voila, and it'll pop up down there. Let's enter the heat. So now you can do the same thing as before. You can edit your game info. You just click it and then hold it to confirm, or you can delete the game there. You click it and hold to delete it. Or enter stats. And when you go to enter stats, these are the players that we selected to put in. And here you keep a running score. This one doesn't keep when you add field goals, um, and the reason for that is. The, oppo the opponents over here, uh, you can't track opposing players, but you can keep score for them. Um, and then if you want to go, you select the player that you want to enter stats for, and say Steve Nash has an assist, and he has one assist, it'll pop up at the bottom here, and that'll, it's just a, a tally there. Offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds as well. Now if you want to switch players, you can switch them here, and... Now Dudley has a two-point field goal and a field goal percentage of 100%. And then if he has a miss, now his field goal percentage changes. This is total field goal percentage, so threes and twos combined. So now he has a made three-point field goal. And a missed one, so he should still be back to 50%. And so on, so it tracks the field goal percentage. Um, offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, blocks, turnovers, personal fouls charges. Um, okay, so if you pop up the menu button here, you can go straight to the substitutions page. You can also customize your buttons here. So the C button's at the bottom here. You can change it to, let's say I want to track deflections. Deflection. So the singular name of it would be deflection. Now my computer's Oh, okay. So it's limited to the number of characters that you can enter, but deflect there. And then I'll just title it D. You hit save changes, and now the change will be made. You can go back here, and then the button pops up D. And if Grant Hill has it, Grant Hill has one deflect. Okay, so that's what the custom buttons are. You can also do that from the very first menu. There's a button if you scroll down. Let's customize, or you can pop up this menu here, 
And then if you have any questions, the key field goals, field goals attempts, it kind of explains it all. And these are used when you view the results. Um, and then let's get to that now. So you can click here on stats, and it'll send you to the totals for this game. So at heat, 4 to 3 is the score. These are the statistics for the game, field goal percentage for the team, and all of this. Now, if you want to go by player, you can click on Steve Nash here. And now these stats here are Steve Nash's. He has the rebounds and then the assists. Or we can change to Dudley, and he has all the field goal attempts and all that. Um, and so then the other thing you can do is you can send an email. And the email will go to wherever, wherever you want to send it. Um, it has the subject filled, and the body of it will be this right here. That pops up on the top. And then... I believe, oh no, so th the body will be the full team stats, so th this will pop up there, and then it has an attached Excel file with a spreadsheet for each player, and their stats, and then the full team stats for the game. And the other thing is if you want to pull up the menu again, you have the key and send email there. Now let's go back, be done here, we've entered all these stats, now the other thing we have is stats from the Lakers game here. So let's go back again. Now here, set lineup, instructions, customize. That's the customizable place and the other place you can do it from. Um, but if you go into view results here, your games will pop up. So you can look at the heat game that we just entered and you can see the same thing that we were just looking at. Or you can go into, you can go into the Lakers here. Now the Lakers game, I entered all these stats earlier, so 50 field goal attempts, that's the score, just kind of put stuff in and then separated by each player, so Nash and Dudley and Gortat. And so if you finish, you can go to season total, and here it totals everything, so total field goal attempts, total points that the team has scored, that I've entered it for, points per game, assists per game blocks per game, all that good stuff. Um, so let's see here. Oh, okay, so now you can go by player, and it'll tell you how many assists per game they have, the points per game, and that'll be totaled throughout the season for each of the games. And then if you hit send email, you'll send an email, and that'll be the same thing. It'll have this in the body for the full team, and then the spreadsheet will be individual players for your, um, the individual players for the season along with the totals. And again, the menu button pops up the key and send email. Um, and that's about it. This will, the price on this is $2. And the free, there is a free version. Again, you can only track one player. And that's about it. Thank you.